presence. And all towards Long. Pulling up their socks and off for a jog. Plopsky, you're brave. Masuta, yeah, you will at least punish them for their uh, laziness. Well, double smokes and a flash. A P250. Make Speaking it. of Na'Vi, we know how this one plays out. Yeah, so this should just be a very standard play right here. And the only one who can really unravel this is Hampus. Esetag isn't close enough to drop uh, his smoke. And a goosh exchange, but Hampus hangs around. Yeah, he just wants more clicks. Didn't have a great Inferno. It would be great to see one of Sweden's best online. And we are, yeah, Fozy is again in the feed. Look at their health. Eight points of health left on Apex and Shocks. Fortunately, Kyojin is the bruiser. Ready to throw a... I'm fist or two. Oh, this is going to be a big fight over towards Long. Shox is actually tucked in towards Pit and he's hiding. So, uh, Rez, it's unlikely he clears this. Shox can actually let him step into his line of sight. This is just the kind of round Vitality win. But the, uh, Apex can't be open here. Rez, you are not seriously. He didn't properly clear. Okay, but still in hard one for Shox. First hard long range. That's what the P250 does best. But Apex is gone. The defuse is imminent. Planted behind the box, a smoke for good measure, body blocking, all of that good stuff. And there you have it, 1-0 on the board. Yeah, the Dust were talking about a good start for NIP almost being essential here, and I think after we saw what they had to offer on Dust2 yesterday, that's a great way to kick things off. Now it's just about getting that conversion. Unfortunately, took so much damage here on the cross, and this is great from Hampus, onto Zywo of all players. And then Fozy here through the smoke gets one as well. So, so much damage sustained before they even had sight control was where the dramas really started and ended here as Hampus even manages to uh, get another one on the way out the door. Here we go, forced by in, a couple of Galils, a Zywu scout. Oh, and the Molly is denied, so good use of the smoke right there. Future pros. Flash back, and this should be enough to ward them off, but Hampus is coming over to help on out. Yeah, you greedy goose. Apex. Oh, so, so much damage, much look at that. Damage. Is that a double dink on a very quick spray? Yeah, yeah. Kyojin's not having any of that. Doesn't want to be grey screened into the Plopsky sewing machine. I think they want to get that Galil that's on the ground, though. Masuda could find that now in the smoke. And just, here it is. Needs to be a little bit aggressive about it. So they've been able to salvage the rifle. And unfortunately, all that damage, you're not going to know exactly how much has landed there. It might actually spur them on towards A if they knew that there were two players on 10 points of health. But expecting some aggression across the map. They have just parked the bus. Shocks watching T-Spawn through... Uh, well, actually, rotating back through T-Spawn now. Zaiwu in the suicide position. And they are heading back towards Long, so... Action on Fozy and Plopsky here. Double up long. Oh, I like this. First contact would be great from Plopsky. Attention drawn. They may not be ready for this. Fozy ready to be the hero. NIP have set him up for success. His second tier one game. The suitors better. Plopsky with low HP. Hampus tries to bail him out, but yeah, this is falling apart. The house of cards comes tumbling down. 30 seconds is the first of the two smoke components. Oh, thanks is... for that. Out. Yeah, that was actually a CT smoke right there. So Rez has actually He's helped the build gap. the wall. So if they tried to actually use it with this, Rez can exploit. Rez can exploit hard to track and just the chip of damage on that cross. Nice nade, Rez. I need two more of those. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite hit the money. Going for it, though. Yeah. And they're all susceptible to the Famas. Kyojin, his first of the three. Rez. NIP's win condition looking to... Recover the round. He's clicked two oh. of the three. Zaiwu saves vitality. And his first kill as well in the two rounds there, Zaiwu. So he is on the board. Gets to keep that M4. But that one got very, very close. Now, this is where the Force by Wars, we get to see how much they are going to continue. NIP, unfortunately, will only find himself with 1,400 as the loss bonus. It kicked off all right. Awkward timing for Apex there. And he's going to see in the kill feed just how many assists he was able to contribute to here. You can imagine at this moment, after the second kill from Rez came in, you're thinking, oh, we might drop the ball here, but they get across the line and the meat cleavers of the Deagles come on out for NIP as part of their force bite. Fuzzy and lower dark, all right, well. I mean, I like the aggression. It's a pretty common clear, but they're, they're not looking at all, so. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, got a bit excited there. Happens to all of us. It's more about how you recover. Well, we'll see what happens when he gets the AWP in his hands. Maybe he can show us a bit of a uh, stronger presence, but uh, that's two deaths early. Shox knows that Tunnels is clear now. Hampus close mid. Rez and S attack over towards B. If they, they do just continue up short and finish on A, maybe just maybe these pistols will be held on to, but I, I think for Vitality during that 
break after map number one. Oh, actually, hold up a second. This could be problematic if the comeback mid was. So mind. He doesn't even get to play the video game. Uh, go away. They're both in tunnels. That's the call. Get a move on real quick. They will do. Now, where's this Deagle? I don't want to keep saying it and nothing happens, but... <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, their positioning isn't necessarily, like, filling me with uh, expectations for glory. And that's smoke as well. I think that should seal the deal within the round. So call it two. I like what he's done with the gloves and the knife. He's put it in the sunshine for us. Scout will count as well. So as we start turning our attention to the next round of play, Rez can drop the scout or the deagle. The MAC-10 can be dropped from Esetag or the Deagle, either or, and they can have four players with bolstered weaponry moving into round number four. But that's pretty clean. And what I was getting to here, I, I think if I was ex-Taz um, and, and I was going into that break and I was talking to the team about the next map of play, it's all good and well. You are the better team, right? You are the actual team where they have a stand-in, they have some dramas. Uh, but just keep it clean. Don't try and play into their game. Don't get too far ahead. If, if you're winning and the scoreline is honestly 12-0, Okay, then, yeah. And they're not killing you at all? You're just running around and headshotting literally? Then, yeah, all right. Get, get it. Play, play a little bit weird, right? But you saw what happened when they played a little bit weird on Inferno. NIP worked their way back into the game. So uh, you don't want to let that to happen. As you mentioned, they've been in two grand finals this year. You're going to want to convert this third one. This is... I, I hate to put it this way, but it's almost like a bit of a gimme grand final. Mm. right? The, with the circumstances around NIP here, this is Vitality's to lose. Here they come. Boost up. Nade good. But they're just going to walk here, in. Though. Yeah, Fozy, if your scout could just chip away, soften them up, those Mac 10s would have been more threatening. Rez still there with the Deeg. Fozy takes one as well, and Hampus is here to lock the door behind them. T spawn, the only avenue out. And here to clean out, Zywoo's Orp. Might peak just as it blooms, and yeah, fires off the shot. Now Apex with the He's bomb. Going down here. He's he dead. Could. He should. He doesn't. He saved himself, Hampus. Normally hits those, doesn't Clustered. he? Clustered, yeah, exactly. Something he'd expect himself to have converted. So now that leads us to a bit of a weird one, right? Do you want to go back to B, which has been so telegraphed by now? The AWP heard about 20 seconds ago. Now Shock's returning to middle. Likely presence in CT, and that's Fozy. At least they know that there's not too much info their way, right? As they clear out mid, they make sure there's nobody Xbox, lower dark. They understand they have some real estate to work with here. Rez does have the biggest gun, but the lowest HP, and... Actually sending Shocks on out to see what he can find over towards A before they make their final decision, and that is perfect from Shocks. Just the crouch there under the line of sight for Plopsky. Pops on up, gets the kill, and Orfosi out of position here. 30 seconds, though, and Apex will have to make his way across the mid doors. Rez starting to cheat on over as well now, and oh, backpack spotted. So much damage done, but not the kill. Shouldn't be any problems here, but... Oh, the smoke will secure it. The double smoke, definitely so. Need to get up though, the flash and the Guys, push. Can we move that bomb? Thank you. It is the scout. Fozzy, gotta respect it. Knows that that was the win condition, was chasing down that bomb. There was no other way in, and Rez, no idea. Apex will find himself a triple. Vitality, that's the dream. Now we do get to see the guns in play, and I'm intrigued to know exactly how this one goes down. Now, 3 1 start, par for the course. You lose the pistol, but you're up against Vitality, and so the three consecutive following. We're ready for round five. You can see Shocks here just with a nice little catch on the crouch. And this round, yeah, just secured after those initial engagements, battling for that B tons control. Apex saved his team and himself. Yeah, that one there uh, almost got out of hand, didn't it? But back towards the B tunnels, they go with four. Shocks is the lurker over towards the back of Cat right now. And I think what they're allowing here is if you want to push lower, that's fine. We'll fight you. And then we'll take the space off of what you give us early. If not, they'll just go with a bit of a standard default, right? So tunnel smoke means Zawu can't search. And now they make their way down through the lower halls. We did see Fozzy enjoying some of this short aggression with the AWP, but he's on his lonesome right here. This is a, quite a heavy setup towards mid and B right now out of NIP. Yeah, much less frequent to see at the T side tons boost in response to that potential peak from those CTs. Hampus, now you are brave. Long range, suicide duel. Hinge smoke in and well, full cat control established for the French. Nades a bit late there as well. We saw him getting up to some crazy business with the nades, but he needs to hit this and doesn't. They know where the AWP is now. Confirmed. And this is a great time to look for a mid to be here. You know that you've all uh, forced that AWP back towards mid long, most likely. Shouldn't be too many problems here with about 50 seconds left in it. Resmoke towards the doors. They will be denied for this juncture. Esa tag and Rez still on the B site. Oh, 
Oh, hmm. this couldn't is going to get very problematic. Couldn't have been better time, Chad. And with 30 seconds, yeah, they are just going to have to commit to it. Like, it's it's a commitment through the smoke or as it fades. You'll have about 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Util starts to go out. Smoke fading now. Shocks on this one. Ensatag already has lined up Masuta through the smoke, anticipating more. Didn't quite nail the flash and not the spray. Rez, however, finishes what he started. And it shocks his presence in mid that's given them access to the site. They will just about I get that bomb down. Oh. And now the retake is on. Zaiwu, though, fancies himself a second frag. No info on his first glance. Tons his responsibility. Fozy versus Zaiwu. A missed shot from the Swede. Good find from Klopski. Apex, none the wiser. And that is a retake. 3v2, sure, with the numbers. Hard sight to do it. That will tie us up to just a single round separating and a lovely double AWP hoovered up as well for their next setup. That just comes down to the utility management there. The fact that they had so much late, right? That smoke dropping when it was just over 30 seconds is enough to really foster vitality there. And they were forced into this without any other map control. So good stuff, handled the situation and a good play here because the, the con was that Zoe was back a plat. So Plopsky catching him in transition there, trying to reposition was a key to getting back into that bomb site. And as you mentioned, the double AWPs brought on out Interesting to note, Hampus wielding the secondary. We saw him pick it up on Inferno as well. I think Esetag in his time has done a bit of secondary AWP. You go back to the heroic days. So multiple players on this team. Rez, we've seen him do it on Ancient before. Can pick up that big green. Timeout has concluded and we are getting back underway. A couple of good long spawns here for the likes of Zawa and Kyojin. And Zawa with that AWP now. They could drop him down mid, he could go for the fight, or they could just send him straight towards long. You've already seen them use that cheeky smoke to negate the Molotov. And he's looking poised right now to head towards long. So here we go. Maybe an opening pick for Zaiwu here. Hampus on that secondary, but yeah, Zaiwu is activated, released, and manages to avoid the flames despite the flash combined. Still. The Guardian of Mid might meet Zaiwu after all, as yeah, he has Zaiwu. Quick mincemeat of Hampus posted up a little bit too rifly for Zaiwu's taste. Yeah, hanging around mid doors is always a bit of a risk with that AWP, but a deep smoke here from Rez is going to put some question marks into could there be a push coming on through? Uh huh. Well, answers are given. Masuta, though, this is what worked so well for him when he's allowed off the leash and instantly a molly and two smokes arrive. Ezetag needs everything. He hasn't even got one. What are you supposed to do? A panic flash is flash beautiful. <laughs> it actually works. But that's the sight, and that likely is the round. Plopsky, an AK to hold on to. But the speed by which that went from, oh, there's one doors to, oh, we've lost the round, is about five seconds. Yeah, that smoke that Rez threw, the fact that they disrespected that is very risky. You could see how deep it was, and Masuda just in front of that there. So a good push, a good call. They stuck to their guns, and well, Apex is already starting to chase on this one. Shox is also battening down the hatches towards T-Spawn, so they have to be towards Long at this point. They know it. The question is, do they want to chase it? Now, Kyojin can swing on out here with the flash in Apex's hands, and oh, maybe went a little bit early there. Nice shot from Fozy. Plopsky spotted another here with the shadow, and yeah, they should be getting away with this. If you are the French, you want to hold on to what you have. Yeah. Extra nerdy Maybe you points. don't want to hold on to what you have. Or not. Give it over. Let them have a couple kills. Shox just gets some extra props for jiggling on the shadow. Like, you're just, you're getting into silly business there, aren't you? It's the details, right? He's getting devil in the details. With just a little bit of his shadow, he is the Peter Pan of Dust 2. That was the shot we missed, straight onto the dome of Hampus, just sticking up like a sore thumb. <laughs> this flash was funny, right? You I mean, see how flustered he is. Hard, no, that was highly maybe calculated. It was, it was intentional, maybe yeah, it was he, intentional. He got his protractor out, he got the geometry and the uh, symmetry right. These are just words now. And that's some damage. Shock, see, being a bit risky. Got legged on the way down and now grouping up for relate long. You can see there is an incendiary burning, but it looks like that's their intention regardless. Smoke as well, very deep. So this is a weird one. If they do want to commit through it, they'll have to bide time. Molly closed doors. It's a good one for everyone at home. And the flash from Apex as well this time. Going to be trying to isolate Plopsky if he is peeking. Up close and personal. Fozy lets it slip. Plopsky does not quite the opposite. Vitality repelled. Two headshots out of Plopsky. Yeah, really trying their luck at long here late. Never an easy fight to take. And now with shocks, as you mentioned, got tagged up early here. This might just be a round where we see this one uh, 
I'll disintegrate into a, a bit more of a save here because you, you'd you be throwing away a lot to go for a three on five situation. Now, I know that they've won a two on five with Shox and Zywoo in the last map and they won a couple against Vitality as well, but to um. go for more, especially with a tag like that, is starting to get much and much harder. Yeah, you got any more of those, Hampus? They've done so much damage right now with the scout. It's just a bit of a stiff breeze. Should be able to deal with Zyru or Shox. There's HEs left over. There's Molotovs as well. So uh, as soon as their presence is noted here, they should be able to clean this round up. Three players over towards A, Plopsky and Rez to deal with this. And there's that usual I was talking about. It's going down CT. Oh, and there was a universe where he's caught Rez off guard. But a hero maneuver. Zyru and Shox, yes, they were the candidates in the 2v5. But I think Hampus has got some no scopes on his menu. Any more of those, Hampus? The answer is no. Zayu with a quick beheading. No time other than to save. And just maneuvering into the tunnels, the boys from the ninjas just grateful to see a third next to their name. Not only that, but of course, maintaining those AK 47s that serve Plopsky oh so well. Three to four, the score. Map two of our grand final. Yeah, I, I think here for Team Vitality, they haven't found an approach without the spawns to, to get them off the gates here or a Zayu opening with that AWP. You can see Apex giving it a crack, lands on the head right there. Fun little camera angle of that one. It's a, a timeout called, and this is going to be the second right now for NIP. So this is an opportunity for Threat or Hampus, whoever wants to, because they, they can keep it a little bit strange, right? They can definitely throw in all these different aggressive looks or go for different maneuvers. Maybe there's a setup. Maybe Hampus has something that he wants to do that requires those extra 30 seconds to talk about. Or we just do a Danish round. Essa Tag asks everyone to try their, their very best. Whip it out in that uh, Danish variety. Yes, Attack, though, has appropriately been actually really stepping up uh, in Device's absence. His performance in the semi-final, a component of why they're here in the grand finals. Of course, the desk have discussed that at length and given you that nuance. Now, a little late on the cross, courtesy of the boost and the smoke. They've been throwing this consistently. You might peek on the Xbox. He's having a go here, Fozy. Yeah, there's a timer on that. It was ticking. You can see a couple of nades lying idle in CT. Should they want to dump onto a catwalk walk? Oh, so I was lining up the hinge smoke right now from spawn. So they're going to try and take a bit of default control here safely. This is instead of getting close and doing it. That's a nice nade. Might be a few more where that came from is... Oh, my God. Yeah, here he is. The nade master himself, Mr. Hampus. Uh, though, shows himself. Hampus gives it a go. actually used the, the nade as a signal to take that territory quicker, knowing that Hampus was likely to make that play. So now that this cat control is taken with over a minute left on the clock, it's, it's operated against Hampus here. Oh. All's well that ends well. Fozy got away. This could be a real good nade here. Looks yeah. like it'll be medium to at least three of them. Well placed, and look at the damage. Masuta cops another face full of it, and third for good measure. Finally finishes the job. Third time's the charm. The suitor. Oh, there's more from Ampers. Oh, god damn, the double airstrike from the doctor. And there are three of them just cowering. Is there any more? Yes, there is. He's knocking heads too. Zywu's helmet rung. Rez for the finish. Zywu for the flourish. Only one, and that will do nicely. Gonna be a couple of giggles over here at the NIP camp. We haven't seen it pay off like that. Yeah, Hampus having fun with it. Having some big fun with it right there. I, I thought that it actually was working against him, but no, it was straight into his little trap right there. So the uh, hand grenades really setting the tone for this one here. And that was a round with some saved guns and, and a lot of upgrades. So Hampus right now, take a look at his utility damage, 217 to his name. We've got 92 and 89 for, uh, actually no, 92 and 72 for Rez and Estatag respectively there. But uh, just down to the pistols, this is quite a light one. Yeah, and we got some music producers in the house. I see you. And we got another one. Back where he started, Hampus. Looking to set some new records, I reckon. No, Hampus, you're getting greedy now. Getting swung on as well, but he will mow him down. And it will make it nine. Softening the blow of that Inferno with his stats up to 10. Massacres through, and you know what? He'd love a nade on shots. <laughs> Wouldn't Let's that see. be uh, one way to end the round? Yeah. Just with the HG. You got one? Get the ace Any with more the left? Nade. Anyone got one? Come drop me one. Plopsky, where are you? Oh. oh. Come on, Rez. Let Robbed him have it. it. Let him have it. All right. Well, money is there for Vitality. It's not, uh, not golden by any means.
It's just on the cusp of a buy for everybody. And there will have to be a couple of omissions in terms of the firepower department. Apex, knowing that he needs some nades, is bought into a Galil instead. Everybody else will get the AK-47 out. But we're lacking Molotovs. We're going to be lacking a couple of key bits of utility here to make this one happen. So it might be a bit more of an all-in. Maybe a fast long play. And ready for this, they've got Fozy on the long corner, flashed off and backs off. Uh -huh. We get to see the full uh, process. Ampus has his little... Oh, he's changed his mind. No, boys, it's something else. I'd like them down here. This is great, though, because this thinking on his feet with all of this, if they go for a long cross, he can just keep lobbing the nades on the ramp when they cross. I so... got Rooster checking on his eggs. He's just dropping them out, putting them in his nest. He knows where he wants them. Playing a bit of a different game to everybody else right now is old Hampus. After the uh, last round, now he's up to 314. So we'll go round by round as soon as we see those nukes hitting. You almost want to lull them into this. You don't want to give them free real estate, right? You want to make it difficult, but you are set up to, to deal with a maneuver exactly like this out of vitality. Deliberate show of presence in mid. And now they'll walk tons. This all hinges on how shocks and when shocks gives up this position. They're starting their walk. Smoke will go through now. The second to be underhanded shocks. He's an experienced veteran. He knows that late B tons presence has to be coming eventually. And Rez. Gets a face full. Masuta again meets Hampus's nades. The airstrikes are on their way. Gojin needs some help here. He's got the bomb. He's the only one across right now. At least they've avoided the majority of that shrapnel. Four on four with 30 seconds. Fozy is posted up on a tiny sliver from Gandalf. Gojin's stuck at Goose right now. Yeah, S attack took long enough that Shox isn't ready or expecting a second. So that should be a <gasps> free one, as I was saying. And now a two on two. Apex to plant. Zaiwu's jiggling up on the hamper's crawl. He's got a good idea of a frag and a lovely find on that head. S attack. Looking to make one dead on site. Good tag. Nothing more. And already on the retreat or reposition. It's the latter. And Zaiwu's jiggle has already got up the info. Lovely elevated angle. Makes it look easy as he navigates the map. Makes it 5 5. And vitality. Continue to close that gap. We're right bang up level once again. It was three in a row from the defense of the ninjas. Good to see Vitality vocalizing that they are here to play. Of course, one map to the good as well. Good stuff from Shox here, right? He delayed so much time just by staying alive in that position. But this is Zaiwu with a big kill onto the AWP on the site right there and continues to do work. Now the buy is back, but both teams could be battered. So whoever loses this one is going to have questions around their buy into round number 12. We're chilling around T-Spawn here, having a little bit of a look late. And, well, they've been working a little bit more towards A. And I, I think they'd love to stay away from Hampus and his cheeky grenades. So now we see them starting to make their way towards the B bomb site here. And Apex is lining up a, a, a very deep flash to help them clear tunnels. So this is obviously that change that maybe you guys aren't familiar with. There's always a question if they could have made their way in through the lower tunnels. The flash also works the other way, gives some info over to NIP. But it is just Fozy right now at the back of site. Rez is the closest here. He's the link man over towards spawn. So a mid to B and, and Rez doesn't contribute. That orb at back of Platt is going to have such a hard time. Oh, he's going to eat that for breakfast. So distracted, so blind. Rez at least tucks in. Yeah, if they do just smokes and go right now, Fozy is in so much trouble here. Like it already feels like a save. Oh, hang on. Gets awkward, they have to extinguish, and Fozy's posted up a chance. Whistles past the ear, not many more of those for Fozy unless he blocks them in the smoke. They're literally kissing. Guys, social distancing. And yeah, now it gets a bit fruity. Apex meets Hampus. Fozy swap places now, unfortunately he's lost his sight, but at least has his life. Barrel to bait, Masuta up top. Three, advancing from this position, utility. At a premium, Esetag could get a well-placed smoke tons. It's not going to be ideal with them actively contesting bricks. Molly called clear. Shocks, nice position. Tunnels smoked on the fly. Looks like it's a gap, an exploitable one. But Shocks to be cleared. He's held all of them on this site in this post plan. Very light on time. That'll do nicely. Fozy now just for his life. They're still pushing in. Zaiwu defending the site. Dancing now in the 1v1. Oh. Playing games with him. Not enough time with no kit. And Vitality happy with that one. It did get very close. I like the thinking on their feet right there from NIP. That smoke that they threw, yeah, there was a gap, but they threw it to use it as a lurk smoke like you'd see on the T side. So 
Uh, it was a great attempt for the retake right there, and they did have the number advantage, but we know how hard that bomb site can be to retake, but it got real strange, didn't it? The blocking in the door, you're getting a good little angle of that right now, just stuck on each other, and it worked in Fozzie's favor to at least get away with his life. So they made more of a round out of it than I thought here. Plopsky doing the damage, getting everybody down. And uh, yeah, now the buy is still awkward for both teams. So this saved AWP. If Fozzie can find a kill or two and they can pick up some rifles, it's not done just yet for NIP, even though it is merely USPs. Yeah. 250 or two. I mean, you can see Vitality just had that conversation of it could be something weird and aggressive and looking towards top mid is the, the right call. The thing is, if they get stalled out right now, they don't have a lot of nades. They only have three smokes, two Molotovs left over. And Oh, oh now that is a quite the find. A they can gem. get that gun too. They can definitely pick that up because look at this. The T-spawn push is coming. Zoe is going to have to worry about behind here, but he has the AWP. So the timing on this is everything. Lovely sets of util. Plopsky's got a little bit of something to work with here. He's going to be in their blind spot. He has hit the shot. His body drops the kit. Play on, says Fozzy. He's caught short. He can use that as his home now as he catches a glimpse on the ramp. A chance onto Shox. Won't get many more of those. As he does go even with it. Another trade. Zywu needs both. Oh. And Air's attack pulls it across the line. Ninjas, a single AWP. USPs. And they absolutely commit daylight robbery. 6-6. Six, six. I saw a world there because Esetag had fluffed his lines. He had to adjust his aim. He took contact first from long there before the CT swing happened. And I just saw a moment that where Zywu would have just hit that. He's done so much here. You but can this, see, this. yeah, he's, uh, he's had to course correct there. It got a little bit awkward, but now look what that's done. Vitality, the one's back down, down in the dumps here. And Fozzie with a lot of impact. The opening, he even contributed more in towards the site. So great round from him with the only gun carried on through. You never know what life's going to throw at you, do you? Fozzie, I mean, what? Start of this year, he joins the academy team. And then end of the year, he plays a grand final IEM as a stand-in. I just can't believe how many players have gone through the NIP main team, right? Someone re reminded me, Rolf was another one here who's actually Who? played for RO, I think it's a 1F. He also, he's in the academy team as well. He also played for NIP maybe as a stand-in at some point this year. So these youngsters getting an opportunity to show what they've got. But this is just a B-set piece, and it's a great setup from NIP to deal with this. Yes, attack, though. Drilled on the spray and pins one to the wall. Kyojin isolated. S attack down and out. Rez run down. This looks promising. He does manage to keep it even. If anything, favoring the ninjas now. Masuta down to 32. If they can take down Hampus. A shot. A really nice shot out of Masuta. He's not done yet. He knows Plopsky's doors. Meets his maker. And Apex trying oh. to clutch up Fozzie with the more impact as he farms up to nine. He's right mid-table. Fragging up a storm. Plenty of time to go shopping for his favorite rifle. None of these rounds are easy, though, right? This is yeah. all really hard Counter-Strike here. And that was a buy-in by Vitality. They invested everything they had. So getting that bomb down it is great, but it should be just another pistol round in play, right? They should have to take a partial here so they can fully invest in the next round being the last. And that means NIP are sitting pretty to win out the half again. Now, I know they did this on Inferno. You can see this play from Esetag here. Right? The, 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 you want to be in a position where that to deal with the pounces that teams go for exactly like an explosion that he just exploited there. So doing enough. Rez as well, contributing with two, and they, they do close it down. So just squeaking through these are NIP. But you can see what I was talking about in the buy. It's Apex into a scout, the rest with Deagles. This is traditionally like a second round of the game, it? seeing it as the second last. Oh. You didn't like the way it felt. No, I have to re-pick it up. Just get the handling of it. Make sure the grip's all good. It's time for a snowball fight in middle. On a cold December evening. This guy brought an incendiary. That wasn't part of the rules. All the snow's melted. Suta just chipped away at a little bit. Hampus going shopping for more snow, and Rez has mid on lock. So, with plenty of time for Zywoo's... Well, now it's Zywoo's scout, courtesy of Apex's death. How was Nico's scout yesterday on Nuke? He had a, oh, he had a yeah. huge round there, didn't he? Let's see if Zywoo can do anything similar. It always feels like NIP have a decent setup to deal with wherever Vitality are coming. Long had been locked down, so that's been cancelled for business, thanks to Plopsky. Every time they head back towards B, it feels like multiple members on the side, or when they don't, Fozzy somehow escapes through the smoke. But here we go. Yeah, that's a tag. He's been decent at this, and he's even got a nice supporting utility that will catapult. Oh, the jump isn't pretty. Now he's dead, and the site is open. There goes Saiwu, though, and that was the bomb. Masuta catches Hampus completely oh, off mid. guard, but on the retreat. Fozzie's there to pick up the pieces and just to fix those loose ends. Shox doesn't have the bomb. 
or armor or any hope. Time's a problem too. Does he get back across those doors? He's just got to walk the gauntlet now. Yeah, that hurts. Well played by the ninjas. And I mean, I'm back. I, I completely echo your sentiment, by the way, in terms of just NIP setups. They just always look comfortable in terms of they're in the right place for the what Vitality are throwing at them. There's not much cloak and dagger, not much deception. We're just seeing them actually take the half and maybe even an extended lead at the half here on map two. That's the key. They've taken the half. Remember, this is the map pick of Vitality. You can see there in the map graphic, top right-hand side of the screen. Next up is Nuke. We definitely will need that one regardless of the result right here. But do the French have anything to say before we do head to that break? Fozzy aggressive as ever. There's post on up, sees nobody home. Managing his angles well, and there's no AWP on the other side of things for him to be too concerned with. Yet to know that, however. Back towards the mid doors comes Rez. Hinge smokes. This one does get a little bit more difficult. Hampus. Oh. Where did Masuta's health just go? One, no, two points of health. There's another one through the doors. Fozzy tracking him. Here he comes again. Oh, and they're so low as well. If he gets a well-placed nade, he'd even get a cheeky double. So much nade management from this guy this game. He spent more time looking at the floor than he has shooting his rifle. Yeah, he's just taking him around with him. The thing is, if they try and go cat, oh, they'd... Oh, it would have been perfect. Still, I think it could be. Oh, it's bang on the money. Suter again. He's died to three of Hampus' nades so far. Oh, and there's a nice orb connection. NIP make it nine. Fozzy as well strings together. Just shocks him up again. It's Vitality's pick, and maybe we could be seeing an equalizer. NIP may not be too fond of the map, but looking great on them. T-side next, though, didn't look that comfortable on Inferno. Let's see if the Swedes can make it 1-1. Hey future pros, some people hate dust too. Anyway, here's a cool smoke that you can throw from T-spawn to land on the hinge of the mid double doors. Without going flashes. Bomb, ooh. Jumping over towards suicide there, so it would have been spotted on the radar. And that's a nice shot from Masuta. Need more of that. Was plenty of it yesterday, and he's double on up, even looking for the third. Yeah, you know what I reckon is a third right here. Yeah, Masuta looking for four, and it's only Fozzy. He's getting run down. Let the man have his four. Masuta closing up the score, and this is a hunt from him. Look at this click. Fozzy tucked in the barrel, punishes the greed, and maybe there's more Spotted. deadly sins on the way. Bloodlust. Zywoo's so good for it. So, call it 9-7. Vitality looking for conversion. Yeah, and I just want to point out that that T-half from Vitality was pretty rubbish because they were actually able to win the force by in the second round of play and then convert, right? So, so for them, in terms of rifle rounds, it was few and far between. Phil... NIP, they did a great job defending. Let's see just how good Vitality are able to offer up here. And there were a couple of spicy shots. And the buys are back out for both teams. Now, Fozzy is a, a Julie's main, I would say. Just of the two days of Counter-Strike we've watched from him, he would have it as the side on with the AWP. Now he's buying on the force buy. And they're rushing B. Through the flames. And Masuta is already dismantled that. It is a, that's a tag actually breaking down the door. M4 available here. Yeah. Uh, if he can just avoid Apex for this smoke, he gets info on PK. Apex just holding W completely books as a tag. And yeah, one tag is good. A second necessary. And that's the end of him. Eight secured. The gap starts to close. Yeah, and this uh, now should be the ninth. So it should be 9-9 nine, nine in any moment's time. The pistols for NIP are going to be looking Glocks, maybe P250s at best. And, and that's what we saw from them yesterday as well in terms of those fast maneuvers. They're able to get away with a couple of rushes, a couple of quick plays. This time, Masuda too good for it. That flash is a little bit too late. Retained his vision. That's a tag made it costly. Good use there with the Tech-9. But here you go. You can see those light pistol upgrades. 
and looking to go back towards B again. So testing their luck one more time. Straight down through the lower tunnels. So a flash from S attack top mid, and they're going to come out mid doors. There's two players pushed on. He's going to be ahead of it. Oh, it's perfection from Shox. And in collaboration with Apex, their spray ends the game early. Nice quick find of the ninth, and yeah, tie things up. Slate wipe clean. Rifles now into the play, and we will see a couple of those preserved SMG, FAMAS from Vitality. So advantage nip. What's the call? Hampus's T side has been loosey goosey. Good long spawns right now for Plopsky and Fozzy here, so they might just want to go for a long play and set their attentions early because if they're able to get long control and they can establish something to work with as the game goes on, that would be fantastic. And well, luckily, Vitality aren't really playing long. It is just Kyojin here. Smoked off, drops a flash of his own, and will backpedal. Needs to get away because this is looking very fast and furious. They jump into pit. Oh, do they actually want to scale back up Looks on like this? They want to fight. Yeah, I. Heat flash implies the same. Now you can see this the smoke they could have dropped on towards the bomb site to divide and conquer, but they're just waiting and they're walking. Kyojin screaming for aid. Nades loose, bodies dropped. Kyojin, so many bodies in front of him. Him and Shocks have combined to repel. It looks like they've done enough to maintain. This is their site. Hampus thinks otherwise, swings out. It's a good hit, Kyojin's gone, and now this one just keeps going back and forward. This is such a brawl. This is very different flavored Counter-Strike. A chaotic marinade in all of this action. We're, good. We're at one minute, Shox and it's a 2v3. They are gathered on the cat. Shock's heard on the flank. Apex oh. missing the nade, but Fuzzy, yeah. yeah, he's expecting something. Shock's Alert. Apex desperate to try and flash and set his teammate up. Oh, what a flash. Yes. What a flash. Fozy though, does finish. And Apex has to get out of there. Not allowed to. Hampus spanks him upon the exit. And that was quite the round check. Can I have your kind of blow for blow on that one? I don't know if they had truly believed they had lost long, but on the jiggles there, you could just see how caught off guard they were. They were already scaled up much closer. I, I wasn't sure if they wanted to go for the retake of the long control or whatever, but you could see here that first fight coming Plopsky's way. He's very wide. Right? It's not like they were all just creeping up the close line. So they were ready for that type of a jiggle. And then they continued to fight. Now, this is the vitality that we saw that beat Virtus Pro. All they did was fight on the CT side. So, oh, I suppose more of that. But that's a tag with the AWP. And speaking of orbs, two are out right now for this CT defense. One's already struck gold into the side of Fozy here, down to, well, very low HP indeed. That was all perfect towards day. Kyojin locking down long. Apex floating around. And there you go. Strikes twice. Wasn't expecting that at all. Apex. A man made of stronger stuff than you and I lives on after that full magazine through the door. Still the man advantaged by a thread. Rez early util on the A ramp. Does catch and flash Saiwoo. The bomb navigating away from those tunnels. At what point do you think Shox and Masuta do start their team clear of that? One of the things that hurt Vitality a little bit on their CT side of Inferno was not having any information. And, and right now, they don't have a whole lot here. Long, they're about to learn something because Fozzy is poking his head out here. Kyojin in towards Pit. The smoke has stalled them out towards Short for now, but there's enough time for them to wait on this and then execute and go. So Apex is already very, very low. Look where he's holding with 7 HP. Like, he's just, he's a ward right now. Okay, he's actually gone a little more passive and continues to use his util to delay 30 seconds and a perfectly timed incendiary. This gets really awkward for the Swedes now. You don't really have the health to be disrespectful. Apex tucking in. A hard clear for you if his eye was already hitting shots. And yeah, well, long. Solved. The rest coming through. Cat, Zywe is flashed and molotov off. If they don't clear Apex, he can still have impact. And impact is found. One of the two required. Tag through the box. Plopsky just seven points of health, but still hitting the necessary shots. It's Zywoo, good on the USP. And that's the end of that. Vitality tie things up again. NIP, victims of the utility there, as well as, of course, Shox's opening. Yeah, that one got a little bit dicey, all considered. So the bomb went down and it got spicy on the site right there. Another kill for Plopsky. And maybe, just maybe, they're able to win that one out. So having to work hard for it, the French, but... As you mentioned, they do tie things up. The plant is going to get NIP in the range for another buy. And why the hell not with the type of counter strike they get to play? I can't believe that Apex went overlooked there on such low HP. It wouldn't have taken a lot. But uh, just the time, I'm sure, played a massive factor in that one. And they will go for the buy. Foz, he will get his AWP out. So we might see some head-to-heads with Zywoo and Shox on the other side. And 
Couple of fans in the fan cams. That's IEM.gg slash fan cam. And that's Masuta. Was he not expecting to have a buy? Bottom. I don't know. Yeah, that, not... that was interesting. He has been feeling himself. Yeah, his aim's been looking not too shabby. It's definitely not the performance that he had yesterday, but still getting it done. Now, Kyojin looking to be isolated on long here. If he goes down, this one could get very interesting. Yeah, playing with fire a little bit. Look at that fade timing. He could have been caught. Instead, Zaiwu perfectly timed for the slither. Gap one straight to the funny bone, but Plopsky, he's not laughing. He's lost his leader. And this spread again looks pretty potent. Shonks just tucking in to punish any of those grey screen tees. Bozy looking a bit proactive. It's unlikely he makes the play on his own, though. This will be some shot. Yeah, the flick of the wrist. Not ready for it. Easy as that from Apex. And he's got more, a bit more than he bargained for. S attack. Opting for the frag on the orc. Masuta's too quick on the trigger. Call it. 40 seconds. Two of you. Plopsky and Rez having a mother's meeting about how this could possibly end well. Noisy in tunnels here. Looks like they want to give this one a try. Hard to... crossfire to break. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've seen both of these very sharp on those headshots. And well, body will do. Shocks clear and holds it down for the first. <laughs> Lovely sequence from the defenders. Trading off of one another effectively, guaranteeing the round and well down in the dumps are the ninjas. That's, what is it, five of the last six rounds of this second half going the way of the French. Yeah, that was quick feet for right there from Kyojin as well. He did get into the site in time, I think, to grab the secondary AWP for shock. So that's great that they can retain that and not have the cost that comes with having to rebuy. But can these pistols get anything done? NIP keeping to a pretty clean sheet here so far. Now remember, when you do go for buys like this and <laughs> your ideas are limited, you're operating with calls out of spawn, it's not going to be easy to come up with a good pocket strat. So you're hoping somebody over peaks, overstays their welcome, and maybe Shox is that type of guy. Flash through, doesn't actually blind up too many. Fozzy remains unblinded by this all. Julie's, huh? He's trying to start something. Yeah, he, he's been loving it. I swear yesterday was his sidearm all the time. So double mid to B-Smokes here. Yeah, Shox, he's not going to let that go. In fact, Apex has been caught, flustered for a moment. But yeah, petering out. They put a lot of their chips into this in terms of pistol, Kev, a bit of util. They really wanted to give this some bite, some bark, and it's got nothing more than a whimper from NIP here. Just the last of Hampus walking on in. Zywoo's crosshair placed to perfection, as we all expected. 12, though, to 10. And that slight lead we were discussing on that first half, that 9-6, is, uh, yeah, long gone. NIP now feeling like they're all the ones on the downhill. The downhill? The down downhill. spiral on the back foot. Down the hill. Down the hill. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I think here at this point, Threat takes a timeout. He tries to see if there's any options for some calls. Uh, before, when they were able to get the gun around, there was an awkward one. It was a bit of a bonus, and they were able to take that long control. We could return to that with Hampus and Reza's spawns right now. Uh, and there's also not a glass cannon out for Fozzie here. That would have been the only way he could have had the AWP unless Sanji was in the server. But the timeout has concluded, and back underway we look to go. See Sanji. But it's quite established this buy now, right? There's residual-ish cash for Vitality. I, I won't lie, it's not great, right? They, they've actually sustained quite a few casualties in some of these rounds, so they, they, they're not bolstered for the tail end of this half here. And it's not going to be the long play, so right now, uh, more of the same. Xbox smoke there from Plopsky, tunnels with three. And Shox is going to hang around mid-doors again here. Defensive Molly there to slow the cat crawl, and actually licked by the flame will be Hampus. Finds another avenue, can't go through it. Well, he's going to go around it. Yeah, using his own X or his teammates Xbox Smoke to try and rat on the fade. Hampus has actually slipped past here, so if Zywo isn't ready for this, it could be well the opener. Zywo, of course, he's ready. What am I saying? Yeah, you know what? You might not be anticipating a high flash. But uh, never mind, a perfect incendiary for that swing. He's got Apex partnered up with him, in fact, dropping CT. Ah, that's enough for that. And that actually forces them back into Zaiwu's line of sight here. So utility being lobbed down, and Zaiwu might get another chance. 18 kills. It's another quiet one from him, I suppose. Knows one's turn side from that flash trajectory. Be aiming for the jump across. Oh. 
S attack as his ears pierced. Down to five. And Zion, we're not very professional about it. He's using the gun. You're not supposed to use the gun these days. Mm. Well, uh, getting stalled out everywhere. We're at this awkward 40 second mark again for NIP. And Look at this dude. He might get flashed in, you know. Yeah. yeah, he will. Oh no, and they've all got pins in their hands. Apex trying to be the superstar. Plopsky. Now would be perfect. Flashed. Apex frags, takes two for the troubles. 20 seconds and the troubles keep coming. Gap in the smoke was held. Zion has got no info. Rotates on its way. He does confirm they haven't crossed down. In fact, that CT drop didn't get far. Res, though, looking threatening. Low HP and even lower as Zaiwu makes short work of him. 13. Still just that one blemish on this defensive record. Vitality set for success and for that 2-0 in this best of five. Yeah, one of the bigger issues right now for NIP is the bomb not going down, right? In the last three rounds, hasn't gone down at all. With the max loss bonus in play, they, they're unable to get the purchases and shocks ready for all of that. Great little maneuver right there from Apex. It looks wild, but you can see in the execution, actually pretty tidy. He's a disruptive force, old Apex. But that was with all picks coming out early again and oh, back towards tunnels. Bomb is long. Fozy has partner in crowd. It's a B fake. Yeah, and he's trying to sell it as best he can. That was his chance. He turned the flash. He should the... be out of position here. Long player oh, just mind. about never in mind. position. In time. <laughs> Not out of position. No, no. Exactly where he needed to be. Should we uh, call this one 14? Yeah, just re let's talk about what the, what's the next map. Uh, the next map is Nuke. It's NIP's uh, second choice here at the best of five. And that, they that beat the G2 one. on it. Exactly. But they also beat G2 on Inferno. Mm-hmm. But what I heard from the desk that, that was one of the few maps they actually... Probably had time to cracked. crack because they knew that they were going to pick it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I see what you're doing here. <laughs> Expectation setting. Now, yeah, look. It's not over. Listen. S attack. Come on. Uh, Do it. S attack. He's been uh, a volatile presence, sure. And on the T side, when he is... Uh, getting into those sides when he is hitting that first in the feed. We do tend to see NIP with the ability to close out. I mean, you've got Hampus, Plopsky, and Rez right behind you. As long as you can kick open the door, they have no issues with finishing off what's left of the site. But that's the question of spawns. That's the question of decision-making. I'd love to see s -Tag with a bit more of that pep in his step. Despite only nine frags, he's actually at the top of the ADR table with 71, just tailing on Hampus. No AWP again for this T side. So operating with five rifles up against the double orb setup now, and there's plenty of cash for Vitality now. They've been able to build that bank consecutively. Wouldn't mind this, you know, like a quick one towards that mid to B. Hampus charging on down as usual. I'll navigate the tunnels for safe passage, and Hampus already up Xbox. So you can see the setup. Yeah, mid to B right now would be well timed. It's bang on the money. Nessa tag the first of the two smokes. Plopsky still housekeeping long. He's actually got two feet planted on long, so this is dreamy. It's just about the jewels now. And Hampus has the audacity to still be looking to push short and fake it out, keep those A players' feet planted, flank on the CT, rotate. I think they're hoping for some rotations here. They're not getting them right now. Boys, your, oh, smokes, are gonna vitality. Fade. your smokes are going to fade. Hampus now going to catch one on his head. Oh! That was right down his jersey. Bit of a concussion right there. Well, they're going to try again. I think they know no one's CT or have a good idea. Hampus, you bully. He's actually played that beautifully. Now, they are walking into the domain of this B setup, and now it's kind of lost its potency. If anything, Plopsky gives it a go on long, and yeah, disintegrating now for the ninjas one by one. They fall. And there was a lot of merit to that. Nothing to show for it. I think they were expecting a little bit more of a proactive nature because they postured. <laughs> they postured so early for the mid to be. Apex now, uh, I, I don't know if he's doing that to fire himself up or, or, or whatnot, but the war cries are definitely being heard right now. Yeah. And this is looking likely to be the final round of play here in map number two. Apex loves to play the villain. He, he was telling us that that blast crowd booing him and throughout that game was one of his favorite games of his career. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's see if they can close this out. Kyojin forced off long early. So what happened last time it was this setup where he got pushed back. They actually just took contact and actually oh. won the round, but yeah. different flavor this time round. Yeah, it is Mr. Dan Maddis Clare with an air of do not care. He's just going to hang out and hold all the way up suicide now. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. The bouncer's already at the door. You cannot leave. That's not really how bouncers work. 
But that's how this one does. Reverse club. Mm. Yeah, you have to stay. You must party. And party come in the way of Masuta and Kyojin. Smokes, you can see the idea. A nade right at their toes. Really softened up now for these rifles. And yeah, they are close quarters. Look at the damage. Oh, shell shocked. There's nothing left of them. Shadow of his former self, Ampus. Looking the wrong way. Just get him out of here. Let's get ready for the nuke. Because Rez, 7 HP, ready with his accepted fate handed to him. 16 to 10, 2 to 0. Speed running this grand final right now, chasing a trophy. Not too many in the cabinet. And looking to end strong. Vitality, 2-0 up in the grand finals.